Hashimoto and McInone over this free kick. Two pretty good options to send it from this space. And it's McInone takes it around the wall and into the goal. With an unbelievable strike by Hashimoto. Just behind the 18 from distance, just bent it around the wall, finds the back of the net. Sixth goal of the season for Serena Kashimoto. And here's how it unfolded. It's a beautiful strike. Right by Poulin. Poulin went the right way, just cannot get a touch on it. And look at it in the first half. Not really the case here in the second half, but first McInone in attack. Out to the wing. It's served. Looking to go and in. Great shot. Right over Poulin's hands, upper 90. As soon as it looks like St. John's has developed life in the second half, Butler with the answer. She puts the ball in the corner, launches it. She get, it looks like she got a touch on it, but. Long strike from Alexis Urbanski. Bounces through, chance for Daly, settled down, shot whip on the doorstep. St. John's has won. They find the back of the net. There is, looks like there is some confusion in the box, and they send one in. Georgia Carney Perry, the goal for St. John's in the 63rd minute. She's revved up. She is getting her team going. She does not want to go out of this game. Let's take one more look. Daly right there with the shot. The initial save card, the finish. Let's the clock run out. The Butler Bulldogs celebrate as Butler is in the Big East Championship for the first time. This is um, what a game. I mean, St. John's, uh, first of all, credit credit to them. I mean, they, they played outstanding today. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously we, we scored more goals than them. But, gosh, did they keep the pressure on us uh, for, for 90 minutes. Um, and, yeah, it, extremely proud of our, our performance and a bend-don't-break mentality probably for the last 45 minutes or so of that game. Yeah, it was an aggressive one. And the refs did play a little bit of an interesting role. But what does that say about your team's ability to face adversity and get through it? Yeah, I thought it was, you know, we, we've got some leaders out there, um, and, and they're quiet leaders and they lead by example, and I, and I, and I really do think that um, we relied on them very heavily those last few minutes, and, and again, Maddie Card, um, uh, our goalkeeper, she, she just, she relishes those pressure moments, thank goodness. And Paige, what a goal from you in the second half, right over the hands of Diana Poulin. When you guys built that 2 nothing lead, what was the team's mentality? We knew that St. John's wasn't going to turn it over. Obviously, being the number one seed, a great team, we knew they weren't going to hand it to us, so we had to keep going and work hard as a team together. So. And for you, what does it mean to play for a Big East title on Sunday? <laughs> I mean, being a freshman, it's insane and exciting and I'm anxious, but um, we have a great group of seniors leading us, so they're preparing me for what to do to be ready for this game. Well, Paige, Coach, well, congratulations. Thank you so much for joining me, and good luck to both of you.